Ethiopia has hailed the positive impact of the Belt and Road Initiative to the country's development efforts. In a forum promoting sustainable development for BRI partner countries, Chinese ambassador to Ethiopia, Tan Jian, expressed China's readiness to remain the largest source of investment for Ethiopia in particular and Africa in general. CGTN's Alexandria Majala has more. The United Nations Development Program and the Ethiopian Investment Commission organized a forum in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, to promote sustainable investment in the Belt and Road Initiative partner countries. The forum is part of the Sustainable Investment Platform Facilities Program, or BRISIP program, which is supported by the UN Peace and Development Trust Fund. Since the launch of its ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, China has become Ethiopia's largest source of foreign direct investment. Well, UNDP is sort of a facilitator enabler. You know, we are an impartial agency, we work for the United Nations. As I was just responding in this forum, we can bring better information. We can encourage two people to raise awareness, because as we heard, the awareness of BRI is not as high. We could raise awareness. Second, we can bring partners together to enable engagement. Second, we can put practical examples, we can help design and implement practical examples with private companies on the ground to show how it works. And fourth, we can build up national capacity to actually attract more investment to make sure this investment is actually benefiting Ethiopia. By the end of 2018, Chinese direct investments were worth around 4 billion US dollars with nearly 1,360 projects. As a result, Ethiopia was selected as the first pilot country for the BRI SIP program in partnership with UNDP and China. The Belt and Road Initiative is not for geopolitical purposes and not for a sphere of influence. As a developing country, China knows keenly that Africa has suffered so much from colonialism. China has firmly supported Africans in their fight against colonialism and has always been with Africans in safeguarding the precious independence. Anyone who respects Africa knows China and learns about the China-African relations which have stood the test of, time, test of time will never call China new colonialist. BRI has received extensive international support since its inception. As of March 2019, more than 120 countries and 20 international organizations were on board with over 170 cooperation documents signed. The UNDP is the first international organization to sign an MOU on BRI with the Chinese government to mainstream sustainable development goals. Some experts say that the Belt and Road Initiative is a powerful and influential element that could shift the landscape of investment and cooperation across emerging economies. The Belt and Road Initiative is an excellent initiative by uh, the government of China. I would call it uh, China's offering to the world to promote global growth and prosperity on a win-win cooperation basis. Uh, and uh, we are very proud to be a partner uh, in this initiative. The two-day-long investment forum has brought over 100 participants from both the public and private sector in Ethiopia and China. The forum is expected to enhance strategic partnerships to leverage investment opportunities which match national priorities. It also aims to direct BRI financing towards critical sectors for economic growth and regional cooperation. Alexandria Majala for CGTN.